Hello there. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Mount Pleasant streetcar. This is a streetcar whose lifetime was so short that I'm almost certain the majority of you watching this video probably never even knew this was a thing. And yet, the ending of this line really needs to be questioned because did it really need to happen at all? So, let's get into the video. The origins of the Mount Pleasant streetcar can be traced back to the mid-1920s. On December 1, 1924, the St. Clair streetcar was extended west from Young Street to Mount Pleasant Road and a newly constructed Moore Park Loop. On December 5, 1925, the tracks would be extended north on Mount Pleasant Road to Eglinton Avenue with the new loop just north of the intersection. This extension would replace an experimental trolley bus route that had been used on Mount Pleasant Road since around 1922. On March 30, 1954, the Earls Court streetcar would be introduced and would share service on Mount Pleasant Road with the St. Clair streetcar. Service, however, would flip-flop between the two routes. Sometimes, service on Mount Pleasant would be handled by the Earls Court streetcar, which would run from Eglinton Loop to Earls Court Loop. Other times, however, the St. Clair streetcar would run the full length of its route from Guns Loop at Keel Street to Eglinton Loop on Mount Pleasant. Service would operate like this until March 30, 1975, when the Mount Pleasant streetcar was created and the St. Clair and Earls Court streetcars cut back to St. Clair Station. The Mount Pleasant streetcar would operate between Eglinton Loop and St. Clair Station, however its time on the streets would be short-lived. Overnight service on the route would be handled by the St. Clair streetcar. On July 24, 1976, after only 15 months in service, the Mount Pleasant streetcar would be abolished. The reason for the abolishment of the Mount Pleasant streetcar can be blamed solely on the Metro Toronto Roads Department. The TTC by this time had also abandoned its streetcar abandonment policy and was quite content with keeping its streetcar network. In March of 1976, Mount Pleasant Road would be closed for reconstruction of the bridge over the old Beltline Railway. At the time, the TTC would examine the feasibility of rehabilitating the Mount Pleasant streetcar as the line was operating on the original 1925 trackage still. The TTC found that retaining streetcar service would cost $875,000, that's $3.9 million today. Converting the line to a trolley bus would cost $440,000, that's about $2 million today. Conversion to diesel bus operation would cost $249,000, that's $1.13 million today. While retaining streetcar service would have been the most expensive option, the cost report noted that any savings from converting the line to buses would be offset by the fact that it would take five buses to meet the capacity of the four streetcars used on the line. As well, the line had strong support from local residents that pushed for the retention of streetcar service. The South Eglinton Ratepayers and Residents Association would make multiple presentations at TTC board meetings and would also charter a Peter Witt streetcar to promote its campaign of retaining the streetcar. The TTC would eventually bow to the pressure and announce the retention of the Mount Pleasant streetcar. So the TTC supported it and the local community supported it. So then what happened? As mentioned earlier, the blame for the death of the Mount Pleasant streetcar rests solely with the Metro Roads Department, which directly intervened and forced the TTC to abolish the line, citing complaints from drivers, complaining that streetcars were obstructing their progress. This reversal was made with no community consultation. Just like that, the streetcar that both the TTC and community supported was gone. Night service on the St. Clair streetcar would continue to Moore Park Loop until October 1st when it was cut back to St. Clair Station. Service on Mount Pleasant Road would be converted back to trolley bus operations a year later as the 74 Mount Pleasant bus. The tracks along Mount Pleasant Road as well as west of St. Clair Station would be torn up in the following years.
Today, nothing remains of the Mount Pleasant streetcar with the exception of Eglinton Loop, which is still used as the terminus for the 74 Mount Pleasant bus. Like the Parliament streetcar, the Mount Pleasant streetcar was a victim of stupidity in my opinion. At the time of its abolishment, the TTC supported its retention and the local community lobbied heavily for it. The Mount Pleasant streetcar was not killed by any logical means, it wasn't replaced by a subway or merged with another service, it wasn't a victim of poor maintenance or bad finances, it wasn't a victim of the streetcar abandonment policy as that idea had been abandoned by the 1970s. The Mount Pleasant streetcar was a victim of the car. The line was killed because it got in the way of cars, full stop. This is something this city still fights with today. Lines such as the St. Clair Streetcar, the Spadina Streetcar, and the under construction Eglinton Crosstown all have priority signals. However, the system is not active on any of these lines because Toronto Transportation Services refuses to activate it, citing car centric excuses. The city is still actively kneecapping portions of its streetcar network and will soon kneecap its LRT network because the powers that be continue to kowtow around the car. The death of the Mount Pleasant streetcar is a microcosm of everything wrong with the public transit mentality in North America. There is no reason the Mount Pleasant streetcar should have been abandoned. It should still exist today. The TTC supported and the community supported it. The only people who didn't were the ones who didn't even use it. So, should the Mount Pleasant streetcar come back? Of course it could, but I think it is safe to say it never will. It's easier to retain a streetcar when the infrastructure is already in place. It's another thing if large amounts of infrastructure need to be built. In the case of the Mount Pleasant streetcar, the entire line would have to be rebuilt as every inch of track was either torn up or paved over. This would be far too great an expense for a service that would replace a low-use bus route. A modern Mount Pleasant streetcar would likely be just a recreation of its old route, running from St. Clair Station to Eglinton Loop, or more accurately Mount Pleasant Station when the Eglinton Crosstown opens. In this hypothetical scenario, you can imagine the line continuing north to Doncliffe Loop and replacing both the 74 Mount Pleasant bus and the 103 Mount Pleasant North bus. There is no real case to be made about the resurrection of the Mount Pleasant streetcar, however, compared to, say, the Parliament streetcar. In regards to the Parliament streetcar, while that route would also replace a low-use bus route, what it would lack in ridership it would make up for and what it brings to the network as a whole. This is further strengthened by the plans to redevelop the Portlands area in which the Parliament streetcar could play an integral role. Looking at the bigger picture, there is a real justification to be had over bringing back the Parliament streetcar beyond its potential ridership numbers. By comparison, what would a resurrected Mount Pleasant streetcar offer? It, it would be replacing a low-use bus route while offering nothing to the rest of the network in the grand scheme. Ultimately though, there is really no real reason for the end of the Mount Pleasant streetcar, and it should still exist today. However, now that it is gone, there is no point in bringing it back beyond saying we can, and there is no chance that it ever will. And with that, I will end this video here. Thank you for watching this video and if you enjoyed it and want to see more like it, please hit that subscribe button because there are more videos like it on the channel and there are more videos like it on the way. If there's anything you want to say about the Mount Pleasant streetcar, don't be afraid to do so in the comments section down below. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.